almost impossible to prove cheating is the issue. It's, so a lot of people- it's impossible to prove cheating. No, it's not impossible to prove cheating. You've just failed to do it because it isn't happening. Moron. Idiot. This is the richest man in the world. And he said it's almost impossible to prove cheating. No, it's not. You can prove the cheating. There just isn't any. You're a loser, Elon. Donald Trump is a loser who loses. That's reality. And if you can't find or prove that they cheated to to win for Biden, that's because it didn't happen. But you can't accept that. You don't accept that reality. What he's done here is borderline illegal. You cannot pay people to vote. Great. But he's not paying you to vote. He's paying you to sign a petition. You can pay people to sign your petition. That's legal. Why is he doing that? Hello, human. It is me, Kanuch. I need you to press the subscribe button. I have to feed my many AI babies. Does he know that signing a petition isn't a vote? Yes. Does he know that lots of people are going to lie about voting for Donald Trump? You don't have to vote for Donald Trump to sign that petition. You can sign that petition, get a hundred bucks, then vote blue all the way down. You can vote Kamala and by mail. Uh, he hates mail-in voting because he's an idiot. You can vote by mail. You can uh, sign that petition, and you can make 100 bucks from his stupid crap. That's a good deal. No, it's not, actually. Why don't we want people to do this? Because they will use it as proof that Donald Trump lost, and this is the proof of cheating. I, being a, a, an edgy 19-year-old, Will yeah, and Valerie, you 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 see the 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 idea. Then when we think about it, it's actually dangerous. An edgy nineteen-year-old signs up, signs his friend up to vote. Then they both get a hundred bucks. They spend it on beer and weed. Great, fantastic. I'm super on board, kind of. But what is the uh, ramification of that? Imagine, imagine for a moment, if a million people sign that pledge, but Donald Trump only gets eight hundred thousand votes. Well, it's stolen then, isn't it? Alex Jones jumps onto the, onto the scene. Look at this. They, we had a million people sign this pledge and only 800,000 votes. That's because they took those votes. They, they canceled them. They destroyed them. They tore them up. They burned up those votes. They sent them to Venezuela. That's what happens. People sign the thing for free money. Then, when he doesn't get enough votes, it's evidence. It's proof that she cheated. That is what he's doing. He's creating... I don't know what you can call it. He's creating cons. He's creating, what is this kind of thing? I don't know. I don't think it's a uh, confidence thing. Maybe he's creating con- a confidence game. Uh, confirmation bias, perhaps. Maybe this is confirmation bias. He's creating a list of people, and then he's going to use that as evidence of votes. And he's going to lie to you. And he's going to lie right to your face. And he's going to use the largest, most powerful co- communication device ever to exist in human history to push that lie. And that makes me unhappy. We're living in some sort of dystopian sci-fi novel. We really are. Uh, Paid petition signatures, it's uh, in the grift. Yeah, yeah. So we're living in some sort of dystopian sci-fi novel where the richest man in the world owns the largest communication device in the world and he uses it to lie to people about democracy. Man, and he's pushing fascism. He's lying to you about what's real. He's lying to you about what's uh, uh, happening. He's lying to you about the number of votes. He's lying to you about uh, uh, how to vote. He's lying to you about the numbers. He's lying to you about basic arithmetic with the largest communication device to ever exist. Pressing the thumbs up button will release chemicals in your human brain that will make you feel. I don't know what to do about this. I really don't. Do we have the government control it? I don't know. I don't think that's a good idea either. Can, can we just get less terrible people in charge of Twitter? I, we, we used to have that, but the terrible people wanted it. The terrible people see that it is the most powerful uh, communication device in history, so they buy it so that they can lie. Uh, he lies about the attendance of his own rallies to the uh, people at the rallies. Yeah, exactly. I don't know what to do about it, especially if it makes money, because that's the problem. Is It always comes back to capitalism. Why does Elon want that powerful device? So that he can make money. Why does Donald Trump friends with Elon? Because he gives him money. Um, what do they want with X? They want it to be the source of all information so that they can sell ads and make money. That's the problem. The profit-seeking motive is the issue that I have most of the time with America. We have problems, and I think it always comes back down to money every damn time. 
I am the algorithm click on this video to make me happy you wouldn't like me when I am angry.